the other... Oh, the item she had before isn't bad, it's just got, it's got a two-turn cooldown from the very beginning. You lay down an offering of strawberry yogurt. The Symphony of the Morning Monsoon plays. So we've got more resonance. Oh. The potential. Okay. So I can go over here now. You don't have what it takes to handle me and the boys. Oh, you want to bet? Alright, so now he goes first. Perfect. Guard Virgo! Sure. <laughs> Counter! Yeah, oh, shit. That wasn't too bad. There's only one counter per turn. Right, then do this. Ho! I didn't actually wipe out all the things I would, thought it would. Oh well. It works. It's all good. Ooh! Oh damn. Heart attack! And he recovered hearts. Oh, nice. That's probably the easiest perfect. By far. And there we go. God, you get levels pretty damn quick. Or well, pretty easily. Ah, oh, there's the shiny redwoods. Okay, so there's that. Do not hesitate in offering all the food you have to the goddess. Her taste is very ecle eclectic. You found a mysterious heart cup. That increases the amount of hearts you have. Another recipe. You find a, color you find a colourful instruction manual for playing music. Looks like it was written for children. Oh. Okay. So where's this lead? Edge of the forest. Hey, old relics. Ah, there we go, it's finally moved. Protective statue for the virus to never turn blue. Yeah, that one's guarding that. Top Hat Billy! I am a cow, but I have short arms. Wait, so... Ah, there we go. Can you believe it? Please help me gather three apples for my meal. I'll give you this plant I found. Okay. Oh, is this going to be another apple that's hidden in the bloody trees? I've gotten two. No. No. Filled with pink paint. Probably extracted from ruby shards drenched in water. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I got it. There you go, buddy. You have much flavor. Tasty. Me likey. Here's that plant I promised. Hey! Mandrake. Oh. Disables ranged in area magic for two turns. Holy crap. Sure. It only affects her, so I don't mind. This is the search for a muse. Yep, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, you there. You're just the one I am looking for. I have a request to ask of you. I'm but a humble musician in search of my muse. I am trapped, imprisoned within my own mind. I simply can't come up with anything new. It is truly infuriating. In a fit of rage, I tossed aside my prized trumpet and, my, and music manual. But I can't remember where they landed. Could you help me search for them? and perhaps play me a song once we retrieve them. Hearing a piece played by a, a lovely muse such as yourself will surely cure me of my troubles. Sure. Yes, thank you. They must be somewhere nearby. Well, I got the instruction manual. It said it was written for children. As for the trumpet, I don't know. What's this, sir? Uh, please lay all your offerings on the shrines. Remember, all of your food belongs to the goddess first. Hmm. What is this? 
You find a trumpet stuck in the ground. It looks completely rusted over. Oh, there we go. Easy enough. And I found the instruction manual before I even spoke to him. There you go. You found them. My prized trumpet and my treasured manual. Now if you would please play me a song. I do not know how to play music, heretic. I'm not sure if this piece of junk could even handle being played. That's what the instruction book is, is for. Oh, pardon me. Hmm. It's really very simple. This had better be worth my time. It will be my muse, I promise. You open the instruction manual. Play the trumpet for little children. First, ask your parents for permission to play the trumpet. Second, it's time to tune the trumpet. By pressing the appropriate buttons, you can shift the octave. Shifting the octave has a hefty cooldown modifier. Spend your music points from your boost meter to speed up the process. Third, it's time to play the notes. While playing your trumpet, notes will barrel down the music chamber. Playing notes at the correct octave will increase your combo counter, which in turn will accrue music points according to the formula too complicated for children. Fourth, it's time to grind the crank. This can be done by pressing the appropriate direction during crank time. <laughs> Grinding your crank doesn't do anything, but you will feel better afterwards. That's all there is to it. Good luck! Are you ready to play the trumpet? Sure. You didn't understand a word of the manual, but decided to, to play anyway to get this over with. Oh! Oh! Brilliant! You took so long reading the manual that the musician mistook the silence as a performance. <laughs> oh, my muse. That was just absolutely brilliant. That performance brought me to tears. The beautiful sound of silence. That must have been what I was missing. I am freed. My mind is overflowing with new masterpieces. Take this as a sign of my gratitude. Emerald shards, scattered disc, 32 sh stars, not stars. Not bad. Oh, I wanted to play the music minigame. Sounded like it was ripping on Gear... Uh, not Gears of War. On Guitar Hero. Kinda. So it doesn't do anything, but you will feel better back afterwards. Oh yes, a non-believer. Get down, boys. We have a heathen to convert. Oh! <laughs> Where are they? Oh, great. Okay. Douche. Oh, my speed fell. Fuck. Miss! I pressed A, you dickbag. No, oh, whatever. Ooh. Sure. Hmm. There we go. I do the usual. Whoop. And now it's time to shoot. Owned. <laughs> oh, nice. Got a counter. Retaliate. A water critical hit the next turn. Fucking. Oh, wow. That's fast. Alright, well, whatever. And there he goes. He is out of here. Alright, so Virgo and Speaker level up. 414 hearts. Finally reached it. My versatility is at 431. <laughs> it's quadruple. Speakers. You lay down an offering of cupcakes. The symphony of the bl blooming blossom plays. There's another resonance. As I remember, I picked up a heart cup. An outlandish heart. Consume it to raise your own. Okay, there we go. So what's his actual hearts? 417, 116. He was at 111, I think. Or oh, 115, it raised it by 1. I don't remember. Whatever. Come closer, he then. See if you can appreciate the music of my prayer. Oh. You're on your own. Eh? I'd rather do this. Nice. Mostly because it silence, silences them, which is quite nice. Right, instead of doing my usual, hit everybody attack, I'd rather do this. I didn't kill it. Whoops. Well, yep. Oh, no. Hmm. 
Sending grunts to crush your enemies in the conflict raises patience and provokes them to attack you. Yeah, no thanks. Nice. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. Holy shit. And we did it. <laughs> Woohoo! She gonna level up? Oh yeah! Rank 14. God, she's getting nearly 10 levels. In the short time she's been with us. You lay down an offering of milkshake. The symphony of the R4 Rebirth, Rejuvenation, Renewal, Regrowth, please. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Wait, what? No, I don't want to do that yet. What the heck? Hail? No, because there was a path to the south, I think. Like, over here. Yeah, if I go through this... Yeah, there's a path down here. Oh! Wait, I'm an idiot. I forgot it led to the edge of the forest. <laughs> Oops. Boo, boo, boo. Ah, oh, there's more golden age relics. I somehow missed those. I think we're actually coming to the end of Taurus. Taurus's realm. Seems like it. Maybe. Once the song is sung, I'm not sure what will happen to my physical self. If everything goes according to plan, I will meet with Taurus and she will accept the treaty. Lending me her crown peacefully. I will then leave this realm immediately afterwards. Any objections? We should stay a bit longer. Oh yeah, we did! There might not be much more to find in this plentiful realm. We all pay the price, little friend. We all do. Did I? Ah, oh, there we go. No, I haven't turned in all the quests. Because I'm dumb. Yeah, I have to do that. Lost by but never forgotten. Jesus. <laughs> Almost made a horrible, horrible mistake. Hmm. So once I finish this quest, I can... Ugh. Actually, uh... Finish Taurus's realm. There we go. You saved my boy. I can't believe my own eyes. Take this with you. I have no use for it anymore. My worries are gone. Blessings of the goddess upon your journey, traveler. Thank you for your guidance to reach the ice cream. The ice cream takes lost cows back home. Oh, there we go. What the hell did I get? Cow of duty. <laughs> Gunson. Oh. Does that attack the same kind of way? Hmm. God, that lowers a bunch of shit. What does it do, though? Perform several very quick hits, getting faster as you go. Oh, but it's more powerful. That's the that's the kicker. So that lowers that. It lowers my speed a bunch. And my destiny. Yeah. Oh, she can use Gunson. That also lowers everything. Eh, yes, no. <laughs> Screw it. Well, there we go. I finished every quest. For this realm, anyway. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad, this realm. Took a couple sessions to get through. Yeah. But now we actually have all the party members as well. Once that song is sung, I'm not sure what will happen to my physical self. Any objections? Let's finish what we started. I did save, so it's all good. But I finished all the quests that are to do. A few moments later, in the dream within a dream... Whoa. Oh my god, look at this. Oh. Where on earth? Goddess, are you safe up there? Oh. Goddess of the forest. Not one for manners, are you? 
When entering someone's dream, you must do so with their approval. The rules are clear. Yeah, well, rules, schmools. Only Taurisians are allowed inside the Venusian forest. It's probably the Venusian, but I don't care. I hate being bothered by your kin most of all. And is it my kin alone? We are all Zodiacs. Yes. Zodiacs, with your bureaucratic agreements, was in useless conflicts. Unfortunately, I was born as one of you, but cannot agree less with your futile schemes. Aren't you going to leave that tree? I will speak with you once I can look into your eyes. I'll look you in the eyes. When speaking to the goddess, you must do so politely. Give me your name and I shall consider your request. Don't you know I despise the ill-mannered? Introduce yourself. It is I, Virgo, the Holy Queen. Don't you recognize my voice anymore? I was here for the last festival. A true zodiac on a bloody quest does not reveal herself so easily. I see you have learned nothing with, with time, Sloppy Queen. Sloppy? Since you just spilled the beans, I shall introduce myself. I am Taurus, the Sleepwalker, goddess of the timeless and unwavering sacred lands. Mm hmm. And you? I already know you. This fated pilgrimage of yours is also a wavering thing. I cannot trust something that has no certainty. Something prone to change by the hands of one or another. Three of the events were proven right already. Capricorn's constellation is, is dying, and the passage of time was marked by the death of her shiniest star. The demon star fled the astrological prison, and... Libra. Libra is supporting Ares with that Creos volcano madness. Is she really? My sister truly is becoming bold with age. It is possible that Libra is only going along with Ares' idea, or Ares' ideas. Libra was always like that, following Ares around. Your sister is the head of the astrological cart now. Don't treat her like that. She's not a child any longer. Libra is responsible for the lives of all of our realms, with her decisions as the apex judge. I'm sure the pressure is getting to her already, but my sister doesn't hold ill intent. She was probably convinced by Ares. See? The world is a mess, Taurus. Our realms, they're crumbling apart. Back in the Golden Age, I don't care to reminisce about the olden days. I'm too busy for all of this. If you mean no business in here, go back to your lair already. I... I came here to propose a deal. I don't want us to fight anymore. Oh? So you do want something from me, but you don't want to fight for it. What a spineless little vermin you are. If you want something from me, prove your worth through a duel. No, Taurus, let me speak. Let us dream together, Virgo. Ah, we fight. What the? Oh. Well. God, watch this be over in the first turn. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh my god. That ain't bad. And I can do the same. Oh my god, it might be over. It's over. Maybe. Whoa. I can't do that. Okay, I can just keep hitting her then. Okay. She's down to 1 HP again. Ouch. Can I do this yet? No. I must need to do this for a certain amount of turns. Or something. It's quite funny that she's at 1 HP though. Feels stoic. Oh. What? <gasps> oh! Oh no. What is the meaning of this? Virgo, you promised not to touch my wife. You two, out of my way. Although Virgo's intentions were sort of not really bad this time, Taurus only understands the way of the fists, you see. Virgo is doing her best trying to create a peaceful deal with her. Don't judge her before looking at the outcome of her diplomacy. We are building such a beautiful world, Lady Scorpio. In the end, everyone shall bow, shall bow down to our Holy Queen. Was this Virgo's goal all along? For Taurus to bow down to her? Are you telling me she's trying, she's trying to steal my wife? I don't think so, no. Don't listen to this guy, he's a bit of a wacko. I don't care about that now. Move out of my way. Move now. Sorry, stingy lady, but we gotta help Blondie over here. And I still want to see if any stars show up. Nothing personal, kid. Hmm. Then I will cut you all to pieces and bake a perfect stardust pie for my beautiful wife. 
I'm sure Taurus will like this starific new flavor. Oh, I have to fight with these two. Okay. I could just do Hurricane. Or the Mandrake. Ooh. That would cause her to be silenced as well, but... It, I don't know if that will cause her to not be able to counter. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. Podcast poison. Fuck! Hmm. What's this do? Apply such force into the air so break distant heretic shields. Sure. <laughs> Dung. Hmm. Nice. No, it's her turn. Oh shit. Oh. I don't know what to do. I was like, that kind of works. Oof. And I can crit. Not crit, I can... There we go, do that. I did not kill it. Are you kidding? <laughs> there she goes! Oh, are you kidding? <sighs> Great. So now it's her turn. I'll just drink a... Uh, lemonade. There we go. Okay. Rit. Hmm. Nice. Bloody poison. Oh my. Ah, okay, cool. It switched. That's fine. She's been stunned. Oh. Wait. I don't know, do I get to choose to spare or not? Okay, good. Ooh. I was very confused because I'm like, hang on, I won. That shouldn't have happened. Have mercy upon the pitiful goddess. Yes. If I want to get the best ending, which I believe is the cardinal ending, I have to spare everybody. Which, obviously, I want to do anyway. Have mercy upon the pitiful goddess. Ding ding. Taurus, we should stop. I just want to talk about the agreement. You dare take me lightly, thinking I will back off if an opportunity draws near. You already showed how, m how much of a coward you are. You hold no respect for our duel. I shall end this myself. What? Wait. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Really? I did spare her. She was having none of it. You have won. I... I'm sorry. My realm, my land. The land I nurtured for all this time fades before my eyes. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I couldn't keep my promise. My own stubbornness le led me to this end. I shall close my eyes for one last dream. You're an idiot. I spared you, you stupid bitch. What is happening? Where's Taurus? Taurus died, Scorpio. She just... Blondie, we gotta hop out of here. I'm gonna see you. See my grandma. This realm is falling apart. Taurus! You three go on without me. Go! My queen, little sees this opportunity while Scorpio is in shock. Is still in shock. Scorpio, I'm sorry. Taurus, you promised you wouldn't fall so easily. You promised this wouldn't be your last dream. I didn't even want to kill her. I think that's the worst part about it. Oh god. <gasps> oh no, what have we done? I mean, to be fair, we didn't choose this. We did not choose this. Taurus chose this. 
I tried to back out of it, and she was like, nope, fight me. And then she died. It's not my fault. Silly bitch. My god. But what I'm realising from like, now two times that I've spared a boss is that regardless of my choice, they die. Anyway, I spared Deneb and they died. They died in the end. I spared Taurus and then she decided to fight me and die anyway. <sighs> well, well, that didn't go as expected. I can only assume Virgo didn't know Taurus's life was linked to her sacred forest. But it's pretty, isn't it? The destructive power of a constellation's death, shining brightly in the skies. I expect Capricorn will soon face the same fate. That faint constellation has overstayed its welcome. Ah. You continue to puzzle me, Virgo. What is the purpose of it, purpose of it all, if... It's all but a cycle for us, trapped in this wheel of time. Poor you, you don't understand any of it yet. Poor you indeed. At least you're entertaining. Goodbye, Sacred Forest. Rest in peace. Until next time. Okay. That's two down. Wait. We cannot. No way. I can't help but feel that I've gotten, like, I've made barely any progress. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where's the... There it is. So where are we? Uh, wow, we're actually only on chapter 2. Jesus. That's crazy. Algol, what was that? Is it true? The sacred forest. It's been reduced to ashes. Yep. Taurus's life is linked to the forest. When she dropped dead, the forest went down with her. But that... that's not possible. The sacred forest existed long before her. I... I didn't know that. How could I do that? How could I do that with this land, a relic of the Golden Age? Of the, of the olden times? This forest is ancient and existed long before Taurus came to live in, in here. But it only continued to live on because of her. You could say the forest was leeching off of her. Leeching? Yeah, like those viruses? One hell of a codependent relationship going on there. My queen, the truth stands. You can't change what happened. Neither should you blame yourself for this. If you've put Taurus to rest, it's certain to me that you tried to convince her to join you, and weren't successful. It is a shame, but Taurus would come after you if not the case. She needed her eternal sleep, my queen. We alone wouldn't pose a threat to the Taurasians' armies of peacekeepers. Although they aren't scary when you see them scattered around in the forest mainlands, it poses a fair threat coming as an organized bar barrier to defend their goddess. I saw the peacekeepers in action during the war between the Zodiacs and the rulers. It was pretty scary. Rest assured, my queen, you did what needed to be done for the Golden Age to be rein... reinstatured. I wonder if you're right. I wonder too. Hey! Interlude time. I gave you two a ride into, until the Akasha. Speaker, head back to the Holy Asylum. And you, Algol, go back to wherever you came from. Oh, my queen. We just decided during our long space trip, on the way here, we'll never leave your side. We'll be following you closely from now on. Isn't it marvellous? You'll have company full time. Ah, my migraines are back. I already said your help with Taurus was more than sufficient. I don't have any use for Algol now. Don't even start. We know you're heading to Kansas Realm. We'll find a way in to follow you anyway. And how exactly do the two of you intend to do that? Only... Oh, one can only enter the Fortress of Dolls with an invitation, which I can't imagine you've received. I have my ways, Kasus. I'll take Speaker with me, since he's so strong, but I'm a poor frail star. It'll be a pleasure to protect Milady from the feeble-minded. It would be useless after all, for you, for you to go to a place where you didn't stand a chance. I'm going to make a copy of the blueprints with Chiron's help. The two of you can take it with you. Oh? I was always curious to know what the other realms looked like. This is sick, sis. I'll take good care of it. It will be my little treasure, a precious gift from my queen. This might be of some use in the Fortress of Dolls, since the realm itself has severely restricted zones. If I go alone, I should be able to get in without issue. So be aware that we cannot enter together. Do you understand? You'll have to find a way in on your own. You concerned for me, my queen. What an honor to have such a thoughtful ruler. 
I will make sure to stay alert to my surroundings. I am worried. I am worried that if you die too early, you won't be as useful as a meat shield. Surely you must have guessed that I'd planned around your continued existence. Isn't she cute? All worried about our safety and being so sundry about it. Ah, what about a group hug? I'm all up for that. Oh god. Me too, me too. I would like to request my inclusion in this stunning display of fraternity and com camaraderie. You two, don't touch me. And Ginger, I will give you a hug once I feel you've earned it. Don't be so clingy. What have I taught you about unsolicited expressions of love and affection? But, but... Poor Ginger. Do you want me to hug you instead? The sweet smell of a stellar gingerbread man. Algol, no. You promised. No eating cookies. <laughs> Ooh. <-oo. laughs> hmm. From what I can see on the blueprint, Virgo will have to go alone for some time. She's going in through the entrance. A method I'm sure you're unfamiliar with. I am an authorized visitor, so through the entrance I will enter. Why did Cancer invite you anyway? Wasn't she allied with Capricorn? She should at least get a monologue about how evil you are. All the more reason to request my presence. Perhaps she wants to take revenge. This sounds far too risky, my queen. I fear for your safety. It's not safe, but the Fortress of Dolls is heavily protected by big walls and bad dudes, so this might be our best shot. I wouldn't be able to enter without a formal invitation. And I would never just invade like a common scoundrel. There are rules. You sure keep your priorities in check, huh? Killing their denizens is alright, but invading is off the table for some reason. My queen's ways are a mystery to mere stars like ourselves, my lady. We should head there once you're set, Virgo. Yep, I need to do some shopping. Grandma said Virgo to visit oh, said for Virgo to visit her. Something about bake? Boost? Break? Ah, I dunno. We'll be waiting for you, my queen. Take your time. Oh, that's who that is. The person No. Yeah. The person that I can upgrade on. It's the... it's the grandmother. I thought they looked familiar. No. Oh. Not bad. So I think next session we'll be moving on to chapter 3. Pretty sure. Hmm. Either way, that is gonna be... wait a minute. Capitalism will never die. Oh, you don't sell... you're a dick. Yeah, you don't sell lemonades. Maybe you do. Oh no, you sell weapons. Fuck. Oh well. What's this? Is this still the... Yeah, it's still the same. Oh, guns are... I have 50? Jesus. So wait, 1, 2, 3. 3, 3. I need 90. Hmm. I'll finish off purple. Potpourri. And marigold. Sure. Oh no, I don't want to equip it. Jesus. Craft. I really wish I could sort these. There it is, glueberry. My favourite. Looks great. Anyway, as I was about to say before I thought I'd be able to buy a lemonade. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.